Welcome back to Great Day Washington. What would you do if Dr. Phil himself showed up to your house? Uh, well, that is actually, Kristen, the premise of this new series. It's called House Calls with Dr. Phil, where he is traveling across the country to help everyday people right here in their homes, which he says he can get a lot of work done. Yeah. So I got to ask him all about it. Dr. Phil, it's so great to get to talk to you about your new show where you're leaving the studio and heading into people's homes. Why was this so important for you to be able to actually work with families for a long time in their own homes? Well, this has been a passion, uh, Ellen. I, I love what I do on the Dr. Phil platform with, where I have an hour to work with guests, but it's been a passion to go where the people live, mm -hmm. be on their home court, in their home environment, because that's where the drama happens that's where the triggers are for whatever it is that's going on with the family and i get to spend days with these people and so we have cameras in their homes before i ever get there they think they're kind of auditioning for a reality show they don't know that it has anything to do with me <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> only wow. one member of the family knows that dr phil's involved so when i walk through that door you are some shocked people in the kitchen or the living room. They look up and Dr. Phil's standing there. You can imagine it's like, oh, uh, things have <laughs> apparently gone really bad if Dr. Phil has made a house call. Knock, knock. It's Dr. Phil. Oh, wow. Well, hello. Yeah. Knock, knock. Holy cow. Oh, How are you doing? Uh, but they lean into it really quick. And I mentioned those cameras in their home. Here's a technique that we use. When that red light goes off and our crew walks away, mm -hmm. those cameras don't stop rolling. Because I want to know what these people say, what they do, how they act, how they interact, when they think nobody's looking and nobody's listening. That's when you get the real deal. Everybody kind of performs when they're on camera, but when they think that's off and they've gone, that's when they look at each other and say, what were you telling them? Are you kidding me? That's when you find out what's really going on and it gives you the information you need to truly help them. Do you feel like when we watch this at home, we'll be able to relate to some of the problems that they're going through and be able to uh, apply it to our own lives as well? That's the entire goal of mm -hmm. this whole thing. And I'm so glad you asked that, Ellen. There are specific issues that families across America won't have uh, in the first episode, we have a young woman who lives under the same roof with her father but hasn't spoken to him in five years. Wow. You think, well, how's that possible? Well, it's possible because mom is an enabler, and every time dad pulls in the driveway, she says, he's home, and she runs up the stairs and locks her bedroom door. And that's gone on for five years. I'm down trying to enjoy family activities and Christmases and Thanksgiving dinners and knowing that your daughter's upstairs and she's not joining in on any of this. They've had psychiatrists, psychologists, pastors, everybody in the world trying to get her out of there to no avail. Hmm. Will families in America have that issue? Not specifically, but the dynamic of the tension between parents and teenagers that dynamic is universal. Mm. The dynamic of one parent being good cop and the other parent being bad cop going behind the other's back, that is universal. The tension in the marriage when they have different attitudes towards the kids, that is universal. And seeing how that gets unpacked and dealt with is very relatable. So the specific issue might not be the same, but the dynamic I think is very relatable and very universal. I feel like we've done so many stories since the pandemic started too, of families being under the same roof for so long, really realizing issues that they couldn't walk away from anymore. Did you see that when you were meeting with families? I did, and I think this is the time for house calls. I think this would have been a great show two years ago, three years ago, but this is the hour. This is the time for house calls because depression, anxiety, stress, is has spiked so much because of the quarantine and these things are so prominent at every age within the family school age children teenagers adults grandparents it, it's 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 so spiked so stressful this couldn't come at a better time I agree. I'm very excited to get to watch and to uh, see you outside of the studio. I'm sure you're excited for this too. 
Well, I am. Now, here's my question. Uh, are we having a boy or a girl? <laughs> we don't know, and I'm dying to find no. out. Two more weeks. <laughs> so you're going to find out when when the, the arrival happens, huh? Right, right. We've been waiting, so okay. we've all gender neutral things for now. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. is this the first? And it's our first, yeah. So I'm a little nervous, okay, Dr. Well, Phil. <laughs> well, I'm very excited for you. So congratulations on Thank what you've you. got coming up. And uh, I, I hope you never need a house call. I hope so, too. Thank you. So hopefully we can parent without a lot of disagreements. <laughs> well, I, I hope you make it through in time to watch the first episode, which yes. is right after Big Brother at 9 o'clock. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Phil, and best of luck. Thank you, Ellen. He found uh, out at the beginning I was 38 weeks pregnant. He's like, if you need to leave during the interview, that's yeah. fine. If your water breaks, go ahead. You could see the role switch. He started interviewing you. His natural role, right? Yeah. You can catch the new series House Calls with Dr. Phil tonight, August 18th at 9 p.m. Yeah, I hope he never shows up at either one of our I doors. Know. I know. That's then what, we know something's wrong. My husband said it'd be fun, though. He's like, that'd be fun. We'd have okay. troubled kids. <laughs> I was like, that's terrible. You know that's Reese. <laughs>